basically, if we see the preparation has already began from the year 2008, when there was a disruptive technology got introduced in the world called blockchain. And uh, the blockchain has introduced a cryptocurrency. And every cryptocurrency has, the currency medium is actually transforming all the payment ecosystem. And that's the reason a lot of companies and startups are investing in the currency mode. And that's why the payment industry has become so interesting due, just due to this type of technology like blockchain or any type of digital IDs or anything. So think about yourself, like if you go to some shopping mall and all and you get some goods and all. Now you are standing in a queue, a long queue. And if the experience, if the, if the queue is very big and the experience is not good, like for billing you are wasting half of the time. So the payment needs to be very much seamless. At the same time, the payment systems, the digital systems or the machines or intelligent systems, what I will say, they should be very much fast enough with this modern technologies which can help the payment look very seamless so that you just go check out from the market in a very fraction of time, in a fraction of seconds, that's it. So that's the thing how it is going on and it, it's, it is contributing like heavily in the seamless mode of commerce. So if the key factors to consumer when it comes to consumer payment is like how the fast all the informations are going on or what are the global databases they are taking of the data and how the approval layers are there, important part is security and uh, when it comes like in what the interoperability part, interoperability like if I am using a particular asset or a particular currency. So from where on when I can invest in every, uh, in every form. Like if you have a particular form of currency or if, a, if you have a particular wallet and you don't know where to spend because they don't accept those modes, then it's a problem. Like that is one of the key factors. So there should be a standardized body for the, for, to, to help or to, to, provide, uh, uh, to provide facilities to the customer so that they can make payments in any part of the world. Right now, Google and Amazon are trying a lot with the blockchain technology itself. Uh, I have been reading a lot of blogs on these things. They are publishing a lot. Even banks are also working on it because banks don't want to lose in front of technology companies, whether it is a Google or Amazon. Banks has been in the year for around 150 or 200 years. So, yeah, a lot of innovations are going from every side. If you ask me technology-wise, then definitely the blockchain. There are some different, different type of MFID and all. There are a lot of High, high version of uh, QR, a particular securitized QR. There is a, some other form of technology which has been worked on like the blockchain without internet. You don't have internet but still you, you can access blockchain and make payments. So that's all the people are working on, the organizations are working on. But uh, if you ask me, yes, the Google and Amazon are the big bit, they're working highly on this. One.